All right, let's do this. I meant to shoot this video like a week ago when I actually got my relaxer touch up, but I procrastinated and procrastinated and procrastinated and now we're a week away from when it actually happened. But thankfully I captured some footage of my hair the day of, let's just jump into it. If you follow me, if you've watched any of my other hair update videos, you know that I typically go to the hair salon to get a relaxer touch up between 10 to 12 weeks. And that's what I did this time around. I went 12 weeks. Now let me tell you, this relaxer stretch was probably the hardest one I've had in a little bit. I've kind of gotten to the point where I know my hair, I can deal with the two textures, and it's not a big deal. But this time around, the new growth was like, it had a mind of its own and it was a lot. I'm not sure what contributed to the amount of new growth that I had. I think it could have been the fact that I've been exercising more. And so that's been doing some stimulation in my scalp and my hair follicles and making there be more new growth. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just going through a growing season with my hair. I don't know. But it doesn't matter because I was dealing with this new growth and it was tangling up on itself. So I was having to detangle quite a bit. It was also keeping the natural oils for my scalp from getting down my hair strands. So my hair was dry. So I was moisturizing and sealing a lot more. I was just like over it. I could not wait for my touch up to happen. Now during the stretch, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary outside of exercise more. I did try a couple of new hair products. They were the TGIN Rose Water Shampoo and Hair Mask. And those two things, they did well enough with my hair. I've used them since I did my initial first impression video. And I have to say I like the shampoo more than I like the hair mask. And I think I might continue using the shampoo and I will continue using the hair mask. I'll use up what I currently have. That will either be in the form of mixing it as part of my pre-poo or mixing it with a hair mask or deep conditioner that I like to use on my hair. And I feel like it gives my hair more hydration and moisture than that one does. Now, when it comes to the TGIN Rose Water Shampoo, I also use the TGIN Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. And I really love that one. That's my favorite sulfate free shampoo right now. And so I'm trying to figure out, do I want to continue using the Moisture Rich or do I want to switch to the Rose Water? I really like the color of the Rose Water one. And I feel like they both perform the same for my hair. So I don't know. I might switch between the two just to kind of switch it up with my hair. I didn't try any other new hair products like I had planned. I've got several shampoos sitting in my bathroom just waiting for me to break them open and use them. So I'm thinking probably during this upcoming relaxer stretch, I will do that. Now for the salon visit, it really was uneventful other than the fact that the salon, I've been going to JCPenney salon for a while now. I think it might be close to a year. It could be less. I don't know. It's been a while I've been going there and I've started going to the same woman over and over again. So she gets to know me. We get to know each other. She knows my hair. She knows what I like, what I don't like. Well, the only thing that was probably eventful, which really wasn't an event, is that the air conditioning wasn't working very properly. So it was a little warm in there particularly when you got under a dryer and they had like gnats flying around. Now it's not a ton of gnats. You know, occasionally you have in your house, you have like a gnat flying around and you're like swatting. So that's what it was. It wasn't like a bunch of them all over the place. It was just like a few here and there, but she was like apologizing for them. And I'm like, you know what? It happens you, the salon's right off of the door and people are coming in and out of that door. So it's not surprising that things are coming in, but the fact that the air conditioning had not been working right for the past, she said several days and nobody really seemed to be that, you know, bothered to fix it was kind of surprising. She did say that she thinks the reason JCPenney really didn't care that much if they fixed the air conditioning in the salon is because the rest of the store had a different unit. And so that unit was working fine. So it was cool in the store, but it wasn't as cool in the hair salon and the rest of the people just didn't care. So outside of that, it was really uneventful. I mean, she based my scalp, she put some protector on my hair strands to keep them protected from any relaxer runoff. Um, she relaxed my hair. I did end up having a little bit of burning in a couple of places. It was like down back here. And I know why, because girl had been messing with her scalp a couple of weeks before. And I think my scalp hadn't completely healed, but I did end up with a bunch of scabs or anything. It was just like a little tingling that was happening back there, but it's all good. It's all fine. She rinsed out the relaxer. She neutralized, shampooed, put a little conditioner on my hair and then we went back to her chair where she blew me out and she asked me if I wanted a flat iron and I don't know why she asked me this every time I don't know if this is just what she needs to do but every time I tell her no I don't want her to flat iron my hair I'm good 
I don't need a flat iron. And the reason I don't have her flat iron is because she did it before and there were so many passes she was doing on some of the sections. It just made me feel like there was so much heat being put on my hair. And when I flat iron my hair, I tend to do one pass. So I was like, you know what? I'm good, you don't have to do it. And she was gonna put some oil sheen on my hair. I was like, no, 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 you don't need to do that because I've had that happen before. They put oil sheen on the hair and then if I want a flat iron, it does a whole sizzling thing and that sounds even worse than them doing multiple passes. So she didn't put anything else in my hair and I went about my merry way. I was concerned that it was going to rain though because it was a pretty rainy week we were having and I thought it's gonna rain and then it's gonna mess up my hair but it didn't rain, it was just a little humid. So I don't know if that was better or worse. Oh, and I did forget to say, she did end up giving me a little trim, like she dusted my ends. It's something that she's doing now. Every time I come in there, I'm like, let's look at my ends, see if they need a little dusting or whatever and so she takes care of that. So my ends look nice and straight and even because I just feel better about my hair that way and I feel like I can wear it straight and not have to like curl it and manipulate it a whole lot when my ends are nice and neat. So I didn't take any pictures of my hair because I was lazy in that too but I did take some video. So the video you'll see is of me after I've gotten home from the salon before I've gone and flat ironed my hair but I wore my hair up for the rest of the day after I got home from the salon and I wore it up in a ponytail so that's why you see the little kink in the back of my head but then I went ahead and flat ironed my hair and that took care of the kink and kept it all nice and sleek and smooth. During this week after the salon visit I have moisturized and sealed my hair a few times. I think it's probably been like three maybe out of the seven days. I have been also cross wrapping my hair to keep it nice and sleek and smooth. And I found that even on days when there's high humidity and so my hair starts to puff up a little, if I make sure that I moisturize and seal my hair that night and then wrap it, I have no problems the next day. I don't need to apply any more heat to my hair to smooth it out. That takes care of any of that puffiness. Now mind you, it's not a ton of puffiness. It's just a little bit that I'll see on the ends because my ends tend to be the dry part of my hair. So they tend to soak up that moisture from the air a lot more so than the rest of my hair strands do. But but like I said, just moisturizing and sealing that night and cross wrapping my hair, getting it nice and tight to my head with a nice satin scarf really helps and takes away the need for me to feel like I need to apply more heat to my hair. So during this next relaxer stretch, I have like three things that I really want to focus on. And the first one is I want to try more of these new hair products that I've got just sitting out and waiting for me to use. I was supposed to use some of them during the last stretch. I only used the TGIN rose water ones. So now we're going to try some of the other ones. And I like to try new products when I have a fresh relaxer touch up. And that's basically because it's just easier for me to deal with my hair and I am more likely to like rewash my hair if I find that a product is not working for my hair, if it made my hair feel bad when I don't have a lot of new growth than when I do. I also want to incorporate more steaming into my washes. I did it a few times, but I wanna do it probably another time or more than I did the last relaxer stretch just because it does really help my hair and it does make my hair feel more hydrated during my whole stretch. I also want to, when it comes to steaming, try steaming my hair with a pre-poo, but I've seen more and more stylists incorporating steaming into the visits that their clients are having to hair salons. So they're showing them steaming their client's hair before they shampoo it because it helps to break up the dirt and everything on the hair strands and the scalp. And so it makes it easier to wash all of that away. The third thing I wanna do is use sulfate shampoos less on my scalp. I've had some times where my scalp has just felt kind of dry and never got around to feeling like itself after I shampooed. And I realized it might be because of the sulfate shampoo. So I want to try to go every other week where I'm applying the sulfate shampoo to my scalp to clean it versus the sulfate free one. So let me explain this a little better. Typically when I shampoo my hair, I start with the sulfate shampoo and I put it in an applicator bottle, mix a little water in it, and then I apply the shampoo directly to my scalp and start from my scalp and come down my hair strands when I'm shampooing and lathering my hair. Then I follow up with a sulfate free shampoo and do the exact same thing. But now what I want to do is every other week Week, put the sulfate shampoo on my scalp and then those other weeks don't put it on my scalp put it on my hair strands and do it that way so then I'm not drying out my scalp as I feel like has been happening instead to clean my scalp on those off weeks with the sulfate shampoo I would then use sulfate free shampoo and apply that directly to my scalp and just do what I have been doing with it I think that makes sense I don't know 
And with this relaxing stretch, I plan to continue to do my 10 to 12 week stretch and we'll see how this goes. And you know, while I had issues with my new growth this time around, it wasn't terribly bad. I didn't have breakage or hair damage. So if I have to go through that again, that is fine because it'll give me some additional length maybe. If you like this video, I've got another one here for you to check out. So go ahead and do that and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.